Good morning, y'all. I've got my new apron on. Can you read it? Welcome to the hen house. And then it's got Rita's Roost I put over here. I should have made this white part just a little bit smaller, and I will on the next one. But I kind of like it. We get a little... There you go. That's what it says. I've got my coffee this morning. Going to drink me some coffee. I believe this is my second cup. Or maybe I had half a cup, and then I <clears throat> poured some more in it and warmed it up. With my coffee cup. I just want to work in my garden and hang out with my chickens. I just call you guys my my chickens anymore. But I mean, I got real chickens. And I got eggs and everything else. I don't know nothing to talk about this morning. I am going to talk about this book. I've had this book here since, since I know... I may have got it when I was in high school when they give out stuff. I may have had it that long. But I don't know. Maybe not that long. But I've had it a long time because it's copyright 1979. So it's pretty old. But there's a recipe in this book that I've never made before. And you know what? I'm fixing to make it. I'm fixing to make this cocoa chiffon cake. And I'm fixing to do it this morning. Uh... Seven eggs separated. Hershey's cocoa, boiling water, seven eggs separated. Cream of tartar, sugar, cake flour, more sugar. Hmm, sugar's in there twice. Baking soda, salt, vegetable oil, and a cocoa glaze. <laughs> not keto it's not low carb but I just kind of want to make it because I've, I've got a bunch of eggs so I want to do what so I want to break those eggs it says seven of them I know I think I'm probably going to use more than seven I'm going to separate my eggs while we sit here and chat a minute they get my egg separator don't I that one that one didn't break very good to go back and forth in my shell Come on, come off there. You don't want to, you don't want to get any uh, of the yellow in there, because then they won't work. That's a, that's a funny shape one. It's real pointed down here on the end. It's working, it's working better. That's two, and I'm, I'm putting them into my big measuring cup here. <laughs> and they're room temperature. I washed them, and I didn't put them in the refrigerator last night. That's three. Got four. If I break them on the corner, maybe they'll, they'll shell to break just right to separate. Putting them over there as I do them in case I get some some yolk in there. I can fix it. I, I won't mess them all up. How many? It looks like it's going to be about a cup of egg whites. Do one more. Find a find a big one. Let's use this big brown one. Break it on a corner. This would be funny to watch the little grandsons do this, wouldn't it? Go back and forth and get all that white out. And I'm gonna use this pan to bake my cocoa. My cocoa chiffon cake, I'm going to use this pan. This pan here was my mother-in-law's. For a long time, my mama had, has an angel food cake pan that belonged to my great aunt, my daddy's aunt. But this one, this one was my mother-in-law's. If I'm ever 
it, when I go to, th to thrift shops and the Salvation Army and places like that, if I see any of these pans, I always get them because I know I want to kind of pass them on to, to my kids someday. So I've got more than one, but but this one was the, was the heirloom one for me. And there's my red. There was another. Oh, and another. And I said, I've had this book forever. And I found another recipe in my old recipes the other day. This one was come from a sack of flour, and I've saved it a long time because I'm pretty sure I made this for, for my kids when they were little, and my kids are grown and got kids of their own. But it's creative uh, Play-Doh, and it's and I'm going to make some for, for Millie in just in a day or two. I may have to show you how it turns out. But one cup of gold medal all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of cream of tartar, half teaspoon of salt, one cup of water, one tablespoon of vegetable oil, one teaspoon of vanilla if desired, and about 15 drops of your food, of food color. And you cook all ingredients in a one and a half quart saucepan over medium heat for four to five minutes, stirring vigorously until it forms a ball. That's your ball of Play-Doh. Remove the Play-Doh from the saucepan and let it stand on the counter for five minutes. Knead dough about 30 seconds until smooth and blended and cool completely and store in an airtight container in the refrigerator. Yep, Millie's not quite big enough for Play-Doh yet, but I'm going to make this for... I must have had this one a long time, and if I remember right, it was, it was a good one. It worked pretty good. All right. I'm going to gonna turn my oven on. Get my stuff measured out and get ready to make this cocoa chiffon cake. I'm gonna wear my new apron. I hope I don't get cocoa and get it all dirty. And I'm gonna I'm gonna make something else today. But this is kind of the idea I'm gonna gonna use. Oh, I know, I know. I want to tell Scott Swift happy birthday today. I'm gonna I'll make some kind of mess in the kitchen just for you, Scott. Hope you have a good day. I love all y'all. Bye.